Bruce. She's deciding which one to use for the lunch. Kill me now if she hates all of them. Amanda? Yes, um, hi. You know, I, if you hate all of them, I can take more. You are a huge disappointment. Have you seen this? Mm, not before I've had my coffee. Only David Hayward. Only David Hayward. Man, I really thought we had him this time. Well, you know, it is not over until the fat lady sings. I can't believe I slept this late. Well, you had a rough night. I'm sorry if I pushed. No, what happened with Ryan? I had to get it all out, so thank you. You're welcome. Well, now you owe me big time. And I know just how to pay you back. Really? How? I'm going to give you that in a moment. Um, hmm. And what happened to us ruling the universe together? You know, starting out with fusion and moving on to the hospital. I thought we were going to own this town. Well, that's when you were protecting me from Ryan. But now that he's officially written me off, you're officially off the hook. Okay, but what if I don't want to be? All right, look, if you've decided that it's time to move on, I'm fine with that. Otherwise, I am perfectly happy with the way things are. How is that possible? I don't... I'm not feeling... I, I know, I know. You're not feeling what I feel. I realize that. David, you deserve so much more. Really? Says who? I'm married to the most incredible woman who has my back at every step. You can't possibly think that's enough. Why not? I think it's a hell of a lot more than most people have. All right, look, I won't deny it. If you ever grow to love me more, that would be fantastic. But if not, I'm perfectly happy right now. We make a great team, Smythe. That's Hayward to you. Does that mean you'll stick it out? Like I have anywhere else to go. Oh, thanks. No, I'm serious. Majority of Pine Valley can't even stand to look at me. My own father included. They're all I've got. Same here. So, what do you say we enjoy our breakfast, huh? Mm. These photographs are wonderful. They are? Really? There, that. That is exactly what is such a big disappointment to me. Amanda, we have had such a wonderful response to our pre-launch campaign. Everyone is saying that you are the next great thing. But I'm not going to believe that until I hear that from you. Uh, okay. Okay what? Okay, I, I'm the next big thing. Amanda. If you want to be a star, you have to exude confidence at all times. I mean, you have to walk this earth like you own it. That's what people are out there get inspired by. I mean, women everywhere are just waiting for someone they can emulate. Be that someone. Can you? I think I can. I, I, I know I can. Because I am a star. Okay, now that's what I like to hear. <laughs> what is this? Um, one of Amanda's fans. Uh, yes, I gathered that. Did you respond to this person? I know, bad idea. <laughs> Amanda never correspond directly to anybody online. I mean, most people you know are wonderful, but some are not. So, Randy, I'm putting you in charge of Amanda's fan mail, online and off. Okay, any specific instructions? We'll talk to Val, okay, because he's been handling my fan mail for years. Erica, thank you so much for all the advice. I mean, this whole fame thing's kind of weirding me out. I mean, people are already recognizing me. It's starting to feel like an invasion of privacy. Being available to fans while maintaining boundaries, it's a fine line. 
But it's your job, Amanda, to learn how to walk it. I am not looking forward to seeing Erica today. If we thought she wanted to claw my eyes out before, she's even worse after the trial. Well, then gouge hers out first. We just got a manicure. Well, you two are still competing on your new cosmetics lines, right? Mm-hmm. Well, then move up the deadline. Pull out all the stops. Win already. Nothing would infuriate Her Highness more. Now that's what I like to hear. Hmm. What do you say we hit the town this evening? I say yes, please. We can celebrate our victories. Why will you be victorious? I'm getting my job back at the hospital. Get out. When did that happen? No, it hasn't happened yet. I got an email from one of the board members. He wants to see me this morning. He didn't say why? Ah, he doesn't have to. I mean, come on. I may not win Mr. Congeniality, but no one can deny the fact that I am excellent at what I do. I will be reinstated, and when I am, they won't just be calling me doctor. They'll be calling you chief. That's right. I think you're brilliant. Good. Good. I thought you would. What? You don't agree? No. I, I do. I just can't believe you came up with this, that's all. Well, you know what? If David fought fair, I'd fight fair, too. But since he doesn't know the meaning of the word, then all bets are off. Now, listen, I want both of you to attend as witnesses. Oh, yeah, hey, I will show up with popcorn and 3D glasses. How's yeah, that? and it looks like I gotta find somebody to cover my shift. <laughs> worship you. Yeah. I worship you. Yeah, I know you do. So, Chiro should be here any minute. Can't wait. Yeah, well, he's not my favorite either, but he happens to be a genius of a photographer, and he always really likes me shoots. <laughs> so, Amanda, you better run run now, because hair and makeup is waiting for you in the lounge. Okay? Hi. Hi. I just wanted to, uh, check on you, see how you were after last night. Oh, well... It, it seems still very surreal to me, but, but I'm holding my own. You always do. Thank you. Thank you very much for going with me to Tad's. Sure. Thank you so much for being so wonderful with Opal. I was honored to be a part of it. Get on with my what? Finding the love of your life. He is out there somewhere, you know. Maybe you just ought to start looking. So... What do you think? Me, you, the Yacht Club catch of the day. <laughs> <laughs>